Good morning, everyone. Here's me. It's Jake. Oh, excuse me, Jake. Mm -hmm. Maddie. Bo sniffing the air. What's going on out there? Why are you uh, off the porch? <laughs> I had this overwhelming desire to just go out and look around. Uh, it's August, towards the end of August, and everything's just lush and blooming and this and that. Some things have come and gone. Here is a volunteer uh, lemon balm or lemon melissa, which, of course, very good for hot flashes for ladies like me in menopause. And uh, you drink basically a cup at night, and it really helps. It, uh, it kind of does. I've tried it. I feel like with so many other things. Let's just see what happens. I'm not going to interfere with anything that's going on in my system, you know, unless I really, really have to. Uh, I must be one of those ladies who just whew, got the uh, full dose of it because, gosh, those hot I don't have mood swings or anything like that, but, boy, the hot flashes are just, yeah, whew, sm uh, sweat -a thorns <laughs> Anyway, so there it is. And uh, I just, of course, here are the blooms. They're, they've been blooming. And then they get, you know, the, before that, they get to this day. But then look at this absolutely luscious green. Just, oh, my, it's just, ah. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's just something that I see that and just brings me joy. These are hostesses. Yeah, I have to. And if I can't remember it, just remember the word hostage. But <laughs> hostesses, hostess, hostess. My sister says, it's the same word for single and plural, hostess. And they're edible. They're edible from head to toe. And the bulbs are very good to eat. It's like a vegetable. And we're just about getting enough of them, I think, that in the wintertime, I'm going to try and harvest a few bulbs and actually see what they taste like. Yep, they bloomed very prettily. So, but what I wanted to do is go for a short walk. You guys ready? Let's go. Oh. Oh, the boys took off for their morning run. Maddie's going for the doggy door, but up, oh, you're coming back, hey? Have to be very careful at this time of year out here. The ground bees, if you have any. Ah. Uh, they are about as aggressive right now as they can be. And then the uh, copperheads, which we do have here, they are uh, ready to give birth in maybe another week or two or something. September is usually the month. And this is the time where they're, ah, uh, uh, don't mess with copperheads at this time. Jake just got bit, probably most likely by stepping on one. But they are, yeah, it's a, it's a time where you're, and I didn't bring my stick. Okay, well, plenty of sticks down here. Where you're very careful when you cruise around in the woods. Oh, we got some chickens down here cruising around. I think we lost a mama and a few of her babies to something. We're not sure what. Look, our poor dog. He's just... Needs a little love and care. Uh, so here we got two. This is agrimony. As I said, very, very good for a strep throat, any kind of sore throat problems. Just make a tea. Uh, this is uh, ironweed. So pretty too. Look at the color. It's just this bright, beautiful color. And uh, I use the whole plant, including the roots, and make a tincture or, or a tincture out of the roots, and then uh, tea, put it in my Holy Grail tea. And it is, just as it says, ironweed. It is great to replenish your iron naturally. Oh, well, there are the boys over there. He said, Leave us alone, we're busy. Okay, well, you can stay, I don't care. Bo's looking at me like, do I need to come? Is it important? 
So every year I walk through here, there's just something different. It's ne never the same. I've never seen. I have never seen this this much of the ironweed here. Every year is different. It's just never exactly the same. I'm going to pick me a stick out of this. I'm kind of watching Maddie a little bit to see if she is backing away from this pile. That could have. Doesn't look like it. I think there's too much. Uh, I'm going to grab this one. Oh, what just hit me on the head? Something from the stick. I'll grab this one. It's a little longer. See, my stick right there. Okay, so next. Yep, it looked so inviting from up on the porch. This here is a self-heal, just as the plant says. Again, I put this in my Holy Grail tea. It's just an all-around, makes you feel better kind of tea. Uh, yeah, most likely got to drink it more than once. I'm trying to, okay, do I want to get into this thicket here? I got better. Agrimony. All that ironweed coming up. Ooh, nice specimens of agrimony here. Very, very valuable plant. So, any plants that I mention, I will put in my overhead. Then you can go check them out yourself. That's a, oh, I just love cruising through here. Hi guys, here's some wood nettle. Now the only thing I would use now on this, pretty much, unless there's some really young stuff, which it looks like, still good in uh, soup and stuff, but it's the root to make a tincture. Yes, and it is, it is stinging nettle that's primarily used for that, but I've used the, uh, the wood nettle and it <laughs> seems to work as well. Sometimes I have a willing, human being who who uh, is willing to try something out for an ailment that they have and this one worked for a prostate problems so oh be careful going through here you gotta oh my gosh what a beautiful shot look at that you guys oh it's good taking off oh there it is again oh my gosh i'm afraid to get any closer oh look at the colors of that <gasps> Now I've taken the time to come out here. I feel already blessed to see such beauty. There's more wood nettle. Gosh, I could just go through this patch and gather me everything I need. Since I've been having some problems with my legs and hips and this and that, I haven't been able to go cruise around for hours and hours. And I feel like God's just brought everything right here to my doorstep. This <laughs> Gosh, this unmeasurable love that just, gosh, it's just happening. Thank you, Father. Okay, so here, is that it? I don't think that's it. Got to put my glasses back on. No, 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 I don't know anything about this plant. Oh, then, of course, but there's more down here. Better. Oh, i got to keep watching the ground. As I said, they're cruising it right now. Good mink. Hey! Yeah, you better be careful. You already got bit. So back there. And now I should know what this plant is. I think it's horseweed or something like that. I've never really needed that plant. or uh, I never felt like I needed to read up on it, so... There, of course, we've got the goldenrod, which is Kentucky State Flower. And goldenrod, again, from head to toe, is a really valuable plant. What I use mostly, I use the leaves and the extras that I have of it in uh, uh, my uh, Holy Grail tea. But the, the seeds that develop in about a month or so, they'll be ready to harvest, are as a superfood. You could actually survive on these seeds out here with, you know, certain other things. But they're very nutritious, loaded with minerals and vitamins, and I don't know what. And uh, I, I used to, I save them, I roast them, and the, in the oven a little bit. 
and then put them in a jar and they keep really well that way and I use them in soups and stews and and uh, in uh, sauces I make and all kinds of things so let's see if I can find that one maybe that one's gone here now to get a little in the thicket here That, that's not it either. I'm looking for, oh, there it is. <clears throat> Wild bugleweed, which is this. That's just about, see the flowers are out. This is just about ready to harvest. Oh, it smells so good. And it is great as a natural cough syrup. And that's why I do. I try to find the simplest way to process these things. Tea, you can't go wrong with that. But it's not as, tea is not as strong. So a syrup is a little stronger. You can put way more in it, make a really strong uh, uh, infusion with those. And then add a little sugar. It doesn't take that much, you know, unless you really want the gooey stuff in your mouth. And then, uh, and then seal it, and that's that. And then you have cup syrup all year long. It also great for children, works great in children. And then of course, this plant I've talked about so many times, uh, uh, perilla. Perilla, amazing plant, just love it. This is ready to, as soon as it comes up, once the leaves are big enough, ooh, the nuts are coming out too. Uh, you can start harvesting the leaves and, uh, you know, either have them in the fridge in some soy sauce and then just keep harvesting, eat them with rice. This is never good. And, uh, and then uh, I use them as tea as well. Then the seeds, once they come out, I collect the seeds and make a tincture out of it. And that's, of course, going to be super strong. And it is the best thing that I found just like this without having to uh, deplete something else like ginseng. This, it's the ama most amazing thing to boost your immune system. And of course, right now with uh, this virus going around, I've been eating it and drinking it and this and that. So I think I'm all right. We'll see, so far so good. Ow! Ouch. Don't have very much clover. Here's the clover. Don't have very much of that this year. Must be a down year for it, but I find that often with plants. One year they're just everywhere, and the next year. These are the uh, day lilies, all of this. And of course, when they are in bloom, they're also edible, very good, very nutritious. We have so much of them here that I can eat as much as I want and still have the beautiful orange sea of color when they're blooming. Oh, that's a walnut here. That looks like a fresh walnut. Look at that, you guys. Now, did the squirrel bring that here or? <gasps> Well, we were just talking about that. I've got a walnut tree here, a black walnut tree that is carrying. This is the first year, you guys. I've never, ever, never in 18 years have I seen. Oh, bud! I found the tree. Oh my gosh, it's loaded. Oh. Oh, look at this, you guys. It is loaded down. Well, if that were a white walnut, that would even be better. But it's a, let me check that one one more time. Now I'm all excited. Yeah, that's black walnut right there. Yeah, I recognize that's a black. That's got to be a black walnut. They're very hard to crack, but the meat of the black walnut, again, is an amazing, amazing food to uh, replenish, replenish all kinds of things in your system. It's also one of the most expensive nuts to buy because they're so hard to, uh, so hard to harvest 
per se, and uh, you know, to, to keep the meats intact and all that. And uh, ugh, you have to use a hammer or, uh, or like someone told us to drive over with your car and we're going, but <laughs> then there's just, oh my, first time in 18 years, you guys, I'm still, oh my gosh, I just can't, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Ugh, thank you, Father in heaven. Another present this year that's right from our house. I don't have to go far to collect them. And I'm just ran out of nuts. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm a happy camper. What a beautiful world. Right, guys? Yeah. So, oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so excited now. <laughs> And we just talked about uh, we oh and the and the one thing there is uh, some kind of a beetle or whatever it's killing the uh, some kind of a blight killing the black walnuts all over and we we here we have one that has never bore fruit and it's bearing fruit ha all righty Dan. Anybody want to tell me God's not in control when you're doing the right thing? You can all shove that up where the sun don't shine because yeah, I know better. Oh, then here, though again, I'm not allergic, but people are. There's the jewel weed. Got that right here too. It's very difficult to uh, preserve that. I'd say one could make a gel out of it. Uh, some kind of a gel. I wonder if gelatin would work. If I preserve that in gelatin and then when people need it. Oh, don't eat that. You're going to get stung. Oh, did he just find a ground nest? Don't, don't. I had to save a dog before. Hang on, hang on. Let me see. Get away. Oh, uh, hell yeah, that's something I don't want anything to do with. Can't quite tell, though it doesn't look... Well, I'm not going to kill it. It doesn't look like it's a stinger thing. Also, it doesn't... It just looks like there's one. I can't see uh, more movement. Ugh. Oh, there's no fun to come around, uh, across the ground nest. I had to save Bruce, rest in peace, buddy, out of one. And he was covered with him. It just stood there. I'm going, oh, my gosh. And uh, I got stung a few times trying to get him out of there, which I did, and then run. But uh, no fun. But jewel weed is great for uh, immediate relief of poison ivy or poison oak. If you come across it and you're allergic, to rub that on. So I might try to make some kind of a gel out of it. Yeah, there's more over here. Yeah, I'm being very careful here now. Entering the woods. Besides that, we have a tree that's falling apart over here and cracking. What? What in the name? Why is that? A boatward. There's a boatward. Looks still usable, huh? Looks like a good board. Where'd that come from? No idea. Well, must get that. Looks like a good board for something still. Yeah, why? Right, 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 yeah. What are you doing? Oh, Jake. Jake. Jake, does it have to be that big? Huh? Does it have to be that big? Okay. Let's keep cruising. Ah. Oh. Oh, the gnats too. Ah, all the insects right now. Beware. They're a little hyper and and if you get into their way, they can get very aggressive at this time of year. Uh, I got stung a few days ago. Jan got stung, my sis-in-law, a few days ago. So, it's good to have some comfrey tincture available for that because that stuff sucks that poison right out if you Fast enough. Right, Maddie? Yeah, my oh, little spiritual dog always faithfully with me. So there's a few things out right now. There's much more, but 
can't overload the, anyone's mind with but something to go at, look around in your yard. I think the really young leaves of the yeah, I better not say things I'm not a hundred percent sure of, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa! Oh, frogs. Buddy. We haven't had any rain in a while. Well, a while. We had plenty of rain. Plenty of rain, and then it got dry. A few days, so our pond looks a bit... Yeah, just doing its thing. It's a very healthy pond. Lots of activity going on in there. Uh, due to the little film on top, we won't be able to see the fish in there. And, uh, yeah, it's mainly fish for everything else in there. Watch for them alligators, that in turtles, buddy. But really, we've swam in here for I don't know how long until uh, <laughs> we found out about them and then suddenly people kind of got a eerie feeling about it. <laughs> Funny how that works, right? You need one to go on, get in the water. He says, let's go. What? Go get him. Go get him, Bo. Jake says, I had the bath. Now I need to rinse off properly and then and then I smell like a dog again. Dogs don't like to get bathed in all that scented stuff, which I didn't use, but they uh, they like to keep a certain smell, so it's safer for them as well when they're out here in the woods, this, this is natural, oh, gee, okay. Morning excitement. You just want to be part of the video, don't you? Just, hey. I didn't get any air time yet. <laughs> he's our oldest one here right now. Well, not the oldest oldest, but the old. He's the leader, let's call him that. And he's a good leader. Very good leader. Right? Yeah. Takes care of his crew very well. Okay. Well, I ain't going to go further. And there is some amaranth. I see. No, that's not. I'm sorry. That's dock. Doc seeds over there. The root of doc is really good for uh, skin ailments. Uh, one can eat just small, a small portion of it, of the leaves when they're really young, and that's really healing on the inside as well. Ah, so many good things. But you kind of have to do it regularly, or uh, well, anyway. The best thing is, with everything I just told you, here you go, and you start reading up on it. That's what I did. And then over time, you come across all these really amazing things in nature. That you're going, what? What just happened? Did that work? What is that? Oh, okay. I came across a new, well, a new, I made it about three years ago, an antibiotic made out of Eucina strigosa, a lichen, that takes a long time for it to grow, <clears throat> and uh, you can make a, I made a tincture out of it, and because, let's see if I can find some right now, and because... I didn't have very many avocado seeds left. I wanted to save those for the animals, and so I tried that one out. And, uh, oh my gosh. Not only did it take care of my frontal lobe sinus infection, but it also took care of that relentless cough that I had since the age of 17. Now, I didn't cure it all the way, but boy, sure, uh, uh, be careful again. I think there was a copperhead cruising around down here the other day, and usually they're in pairs, so. Uh, it isn't this one right here that you see on the tree. It's a different one. And I used that, and 
I had been bitten by a tick that causes that lone star disease or something it's called. And uh, you can't eat beef and pork. And uh, oh, you get so sick if you do. Oh my gosh, it's awful. And you get hives and oh gosh, I've, I've read up on it and people just, oh my gosh, you get so sick and you can't do anything about it. You have to just not eat beef and pork. Well, I just had a piece of steak last night. That's about three to four years, supposedly. That's one of the reasons I came down here, because I want to see if there is a copperhead cruising around here, maybe killing my babies. Eating time. They're going to give birth soon. And, uh, don't see anything. Well, I'm not going to go and prod too much. I'll find it if there is one. Uh, and uh, and then it kind of just clears out because you're not feeding whatever you got infected with. And it's been about a year ago for me. I never had really serious symptoms, but <laughs> sure felt it, and could trace it back definite, definitely, definitely to that. And I've been taking that antibiotic, and I've took it for a little longer than I needed to. And lo and behold, I'm not kidding you guys, I ate a piece of steak, just a, a small, I don't know, uh, two by four inches or something, uh, which six months ago would have made me super sick, and huh, nothing, nothing. I'm still going to be careful, but I think that took care of that too. I didn't do anything different otherwise. Well, anyway, so there it is. I gave some to my son who's got the same thing going. Hopefully he's taking it. Oh, there is a kushal. Taking the tincture I gave him. Look at that, you guys, a kushal. This is all volunteers here. Mostly it's uh, gourds. There's a kushal in there on this one. Hasn't bloomed yet. This is a different one. See this? And then this. Okay. And then that. Okay. So this is a different one. I'm trying to figure out again. This is this is where I found a copperhead in our pumpkin patch the other day. So one has to be careful. So I'm kind of looking. Oh, there's one coming up. Well that's that's a squash too. Well, that could be uh, well, that could be more and more either kushal or it could be a butternut. Or it could be okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just wait. Yeah, I could go and I like surprises. You know, like when you are pregnant and don't find out what the baby is. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, let's go see down here. Oh. Well, everything's just overgrown here. <laughs> so here's a zucchini. But I doubt, oh, kind of has the same leaves as that other one, but I know that other one's not a zucchini. Oh, this is spotted. This one, the other one has runs. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there is one in there. I see one. Uh, it is doubtful this one will make it, but you never know. I'm leaving it. You see? The animals come through here. Everyone comes through here. This isn't fenced off, so yeah. Okay. Oh, now I'm sweating. I'm going back on the porch. It's hot. It's hot, 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 hot. Oh, what a beautiful morning walk. There. Listen to all the sounds. Oh. <laughs> I think maybe we've got to look closer. 
Oh, some kind of a chickweed. It's not chickweed, but it could be. Different kind, edible, salad stuff. Yum. This is our stone bridge. Yep. We got a stone bridge. You guys see it? That's our stone bridge. Uh huh. And uh, it's not a, can't be considered a natural bridge, but if you're courageous enough, you can go climb underneath it too. <laughs> Crawl underneath. <laughs> got everything right here. Got everything right here. Oh, Jake's happy with his stick. Okay, back to our beautiful house. Look at that, you guys. Man, got the wood ready to go over there. Yeah, and the cushals are doing good, and the spazier hole. Mm -hmm. This year, too, in my garden, I'm trying to see what survives. If I have no water, what will make it? At this time, I can still experiment. There's plenty of food out there, so that I can still experiment with what will do the best, right? Yeah, and uh, so far, the potatoes, they're like, they don't need any extra water. They're just fine with whatever. So I found just the corn. Uh, as long as stuff is in the ground. Now, some things that I have in, in the... Uh, pots or other containers is not, doesn't, you know, but that's, that's to be expected, right? They kind of, just like an animal in the wild will do fine unless we interfere big time with their habitat, uh, even through droughts and other problems that may arise out there in nature. But as soon as you care for them, they, their, their movements become limited, right, Jake? And then they need a little more extra care from us. It's the same with the plants. So I'll make another video of that, what I found this year. Here's the comfrey, remember? Yes, best thing for bee stings. I'd say probably work for snake too. Okay. Oh, here they are. Hi, guys. On the porch. Porch life. Porch life in our home is still very much alive and sometimes I wonder why we have a, such a big house for the inside because the porch is it. Our porch should be about as big as the house and the house about as big as the porch. Anywho, some flowers are about done. Yep, we'll talk about that another time. The uh, peach trees though haven't had any luck for them to carry or able to finish carrying because of the frost we have so late here. So got to think of what to do there. And uh, But look how huge they are. Three years. This is three years growth. Three years. Oh, yeah. Three years. God's love and blessings always. I will talk to you all another time.